you guys know what's coming up, it's Black Friday. So Hunt & Company is gonna have its biggest sales ever had, 50% off the whole entire website, starting on Black Friday, ending on Cyber Monday. And we're gonna be announcing a little holiday season special. We are going to be starting a giveaway with the E90 M3. Giveaway is gonna start on Black Friday. So all of the orders from Black Friday to Cyber Monday are included in the giveaway, and the giveaway ends on Christmas. And Christmas morning, I'm gonna be calling one of you guys up to let you know you just won my E90 M3. Every $5 you spend, it gets you one entry on the car. Let's go, baby. Get ready for the biggest sale of the year. Welcome back to today's video. If you didn't catch yesterday's video, we just took delivery of this G82 M4 and I'm freezing. So let's get inside already. We're starting breakfast off this morning with some classic, famous well, Connecticut East slash East Coast bagels. Nah. Alive unboxing? Oh, wow. Tom, this is Anthony's wow. first bagel. I just got <laughs> ever. East Coast bagel review, pretty solid, pretty good. Would have liked if the egg was runny. I should have asked for it. Hey Grant, why didn't you back in, brother? I didn't want to show your uh, swirl marks, so I, I blocked them for you. Okay, yes, this car does need a full cut and polish. It needs a little paint correction. But it looks great. This is the first time we're seeing the British Racing Green in the sunlight. It looks so sick. Ah, these stupid F80s sound like hard boxes. Come on, dude. So we're in Connecticut, and for those of you who don't know who are from the West Coast, like me, states on the East Coast are very small and they're all stacked together. So we're in Connecticut today. We're gonna be driving to New York today. Why? Because I really want the New York City experience. I've never really been to New York City. I've only been like once or twice, very, very briefly, and I haven't really got to like walk around and enjoy it. So I'm dragging Grant to take me down to New York City to kind of just explore. And I thought, hey, what a fun road trip it would be to take the M4 all the way to New York. And before the people from New York say anything or comment anything, yes, I know that New York City isn't a good place to drive a car. I get that. And I know driving a car inside New York City is terrible and is full of traffic, but we have like an hour and a half drive. It seems like a really fun thing to do. So I'm convincing and I'm making everyone do it so we can have fun today. So we're going on a cruise and this is kind of my first time actually getting to drive this thing and getting to experience it. And I have to say, I am thoroughly enjoying it. Not that I thought I would dislike this car, but coming from an E90 being like the most recent BMW I've really driven, these cars drive amazing. And I even have a clip from this morning, which I'll show you right now, of me putting this thing out of four wheel drive or all wheel drive and putting it in rear wheel drive. And look how good this thing does donuts. It handled amazing. The front tires didn't lock up, the ABS didn't do anything weird, like I was flat footing it, and the car gave no hesitation. And it's just like the E90 M3. When you want to drift it, it goes, okay, yeah, let's drift. And it doesn't do any weird safety cutoffs or throttle cutoffs, it just worked. It was so cool. So this thing already has earned points in my book. I'm not sure if this thing is as fast as it's supposed to. I know that it is, there goes Grand the M3. I know that this car is in its break in until like 1200 or 1500 miles, something like that. I was told that it just means that you can't like do launch control. I don't know if it's limited on power. It's not, just no launch control. It's just yeah. no launch control? Just no launch. Anthony's a very big BMW fan. Oh, here, why don't you get us a little I got bit. this. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Unpopular. 
popular opinion, F80s are kind of cooler. <laughs> to the parking situation that we're gonna be doing in the city. Dude. I've heard so much about this. I've heard it's like the worst this, idea this ever. This one actually doesn't look too bad. And this one looks pretty decent. Yeah. It, it's only uh, $3,000 an hour for parking. Thank you, sir. All right, my parking job. Tried to hug the wall as best as possible. This is actually, from what everyone just said, this is a great parking lot in New York. Like, this is self-parking and pretty, pretty, uh, Who's pretty safe. Who's told you that? Well, me, me and Tommy were talking this about This is a good, this is a good spot. It is, dude. This, this is, is like no one. I don't know. Yeah, For what I was expecting, this is a great lot. Dude, really just look at this car, guys. The orange interior just pops through the green. I always like tinting the windows, but I don't know if I should tint them because of how good the interior looks. But you guys already know what type of wheels, or you don't know what type of wheels, but I really want to put a set of like polished lips with gold faces on this car. It's going to look so good. She get TEs. Look at this, look at this New York stuff. I don't know what's going on over there. They're celebrating something. Hey look, I found a Subaru owner. I have to say, I was worried about bringing an M4 in the city and here you just have someone who parked up with their Ferrari on the side of the road. I'll get, oh, he's got a parking ticket. Stopped at a pizza stop in, a, in Italia. Or in Italy, Italy little Italy. I can't wait to see him uh, edit that clip. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> really New York things going on over here, guys. Not only did we learn that Grant doesn't know how to use chopsticks, we also learned today that he doesn't know how to eat pizza. Look at it everyone else's. TJ, you brought me to the pull. greasiest pizza else's. place in New York City. Everyone's got a pretty nice little pizza slice. Grant's literally fell apart. Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> That's just cheese. This is just cheese too and so look at this, dude. It's soggy. I have spotted, I don't know if this camera's gonna get it. The Empire State That's Building. There it is. <laughs> Wait, it's not? No. Wait, you told me it was. <laughs> it looks like it. Are you I, I can't tell if you're joking or not. It's not that ain't it. Are you sure? Yeah. It's a lot taller than that. Oh. Okay, just kidding guys, it's not the Empire State Building, but it sure looks like the Empire State Building. Might as well be. It's as close as you're gonna get to it. <laughs> just went Christmas shopping in a place called Kiss. I'm taking some time out of my day right now to pack for a trip that I have coming up. It's a business trip, and I want to pack something that gives me a little bit more of a work professional attire when I go to some dinners, and that's why I'm gonna be packing with cuts. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been seeing cuts advertisements on Instagram for what feels like years now, and I finally bit the bullet and I ordered some, and I love it. Cuts Clothing is a work leisure type brand, but they make a lot of relaxed, form-fitting t-shirts, sweatshirts, joggers that look great when you're trying to look clean and professional, but can also be worn at home or in the office, or even if you're going on a nice little date or a date with the boys, they have something for everything. Their fabric is made with their perfected pika type of fabric. It's insanely soft, it remains its shape, it doesn't pill, and it will keep you looking sharp throughout the day. Their shirts vary from crew necks to v-necks to henleys to bottom hems with splits and curves. And my favorite thing is their tees are tailored to fit where it matters. Their shirts have this natural tailor to the body that make you look great. Sabrina actually loves me in these t-shirts. So do yourself a favor and go to cuts.team forward slash TJ and use code TJ. You can get 15% off everything on their website. Do yourself a favor, splurge on yourself. You're going to feel great, you're going to look great, and you're going to thank me later. Thank you so much for Cuts for sponsoring this video, and now let's get back to it. For anyone that watches Casey Neistat, look at that, $1.50 pizza. RS6, this thing looks dope. Really cool to see that in the city. That color is fire. Essentially, just like a mini Earth. All right, we just got back to the car. We are officially leaving the city. We literally just kind of ran around and looked at some stuff, and I just wanted to be a tourist, so I just grabbed random clips. It is definitely very crowded here. It's cool to visit, but after like five hours, I'm like, okay, I've had enough of this. I'm ready to go back to the car. I'm ready to get into an area that's not like completely swamped with people, and like you have to literally crawl around to get to get places but it was definitely cool i'm happy we came here and driving through this is an absolute 
nightmare. Very scary. If this car wasn't stock ride height, I'd be so uncomfortable driving this car around here. Or if it was lower or had a lip, it would be pretty hard. I feel bad for Grant, honestly, in his M3. All right, well, on the ride back, I'm letting Anthony, who's probably the biggest fan of this car. <laughs> that Anthony, is true. Anthony loves this car more than anyone that I know, and he like knows all the information that I've been talking about. I've been getting the information from Anthony. I absolutely love this car. I has previously drove a G80 M3 non-comp, non-X-Drive, so this is much faster. I prefer the styling of the G80 better, but this car is insanely fast. It feels incredible. I don't have enough good things to say about it, truly. It, it is a fast car from the passenger seat. It definitely has a really good power band. Very, very fast. I can't believe that it took me this long to get into this car. But this is like mind changing to me on how amazing and how fun this car is and how beautiful it is and how elegant the interior is and just how tunable it is. I've been talking to a lot of you guys, reading a lot of you guys' comments and there is so much that we're able to do with this car and I have some big plans. I have really big aspirations that I wanna do with this car. It's something that I'm working on and I'm hoping one day I'll be able to achieve what I'm trying to do. Some of you guys might be able to figure it out but it is, it is tough but I'm very, very excited. I just took my shower, I'm ready for bed. Another very long, exhausting day but another day where I'm obsessed with this M4. I've said it a million times, cannot believe I didn't get it sooner. Hope you guys enjoyed the little random New York City vlog. I really enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and keep moving forward.